Hello and welcome to the devotion for Wednesday, April the 10th, entitled, Share the Load. And as you can tell, over the last couple of days, I've been struggling with a, uh, a pretty rough case of bronchitis. So uh, if you want to pray for me or sing Soft Kitty, uh, either one would be greatly appreciated. But Sunday morning, we talked about uh, Galatians 6.2, which said, Carry each other's burdens... And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Now, what's interesting is verse 1 that I didn't share kind of qualifies what he's talking about. He says, brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore them gently. But watch yourself or you too may be tempted. Carry each other's burdens and in this way fulfill the law of Christ. Now, as we look at that, Again, we go back to that sin thing, where I said if all we see is sin, we miss people. We realize that sin is something that can happen in a person's life, but it doesn't define that person. So when we say if someone's caught in a sin, it says we need to restore them gently, but watch out or you may be tempted as well. I think arrogance and pride, that log in our own eye, keeps us so many times vulnerable to fall into the same kind of traps because we get arrogant. Uh, The scriptures say that pride comes before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. I have found that every time I become arrogant and prideful and judgmental, I am setting myself up to make stupid decisions in my own life. Let the words never pass over my lips. I would never. Because I found that I could do anything. Tell myself one or two lies, gray the line just a little bit, and I could make a stupid decision as well. In fact, it is that realization, seeing so many people I know, godly, love God with all their heart, shipwreck their lives, has actually worked to let me know that you can be the most godly man or woman in the world and still shipwreck your life. Look at David. Every single one of us fall prey when we allow ourselves to become boastful, prideful, and arrogant. So he says, listen, if someone's struggling, restore them gently and watch yourself. Carry each other's burdens and fulfill the law of Christ. And that is the goal. That is my heart. That's who I want to be. I pray it's who you want to be. So let's pray. Father, you've called us to carry each other's loads. And so, Lord, we just ask for your wisdom and your understanding, your knowledge to know how to do that. And so, Father, uh, Lord, as we seek to have a humble and a gentle spirit, to realize that we uh, are not better. Uh, We may not have stumbled in that particular area. We may not have opened that door, but there are plenty of others that we have opened. Lord, give us a heart of compassion for those that are struggling, that we would restore them gently and also walk in a place of humility before you as we carry one another's burdens. Lord, let it be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, (coughs) sorry. Have Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.